Well, an impressive feat by our strongman duo and what they're doing to educate people. That is coming up. We found some sticks, actually, in your in your parking lot. <laughs> and, this is uh, all it takes. You normally, you say, don't try this at home. Go ahead and try these at home. Okay. One. All right, perfect. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. There's a little big. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight, 22, 22, 23, 24, 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Chop and Steel, you guys are performing Monday in Allentown. You can go to their website for more information. The show on Monday, what's on the website, probably isn't going to be what's where it's actually going to be. If we don't play that, then we usually play like a Home Depot parking lot. Getting in shape is important if you want to live longer, which I do not. That's Chop and Steel. And they trolled local morning shows across the country into thinking they're real strongmen, despite the fact that they look like Jimmy John's employees. <laughs> Watching TV first thing in the morning is the healthiest way to start your day. Forget the dictator with a $7 haircut pointing nukes at us. Show me two hot chicks debating a study conducted by Redondo Beach High that says couples who peg sleep better. That's all my dumb brain can cope with in the AM. I want to leave the house ill-informed and horny. Save the real news for the evening after life has beaten me down all day. Unfortunately, after Chop and Steel duped Hello Wisconsin, the station's parent company got mad and sued them for posing as fitness experts. Have you been to Wisconsin? They have no business judging anyone's physique. The morning news is so desperate to fill airtime, they'll book anyone with little to no research or background checks. And so will we. That's why I invited Chop and Steel to do a segment on my local morning show here in beautiful Culver City for this week's Celebrity Profile. It's Good Day Culver City with host Dan Tosh, Monica Flaps, Jennifer Coos on traffic, and weather with Thunder Cummings. Good day, Culver City. I'm pleased to announce my harassment charges with Monica have finally been settled. Hmm. Let's start the morning off right with my favorite segment, Celebrity Corner. I saw Giovanni Ribisi eating a bacco. He seems really nice. Guy's a Scientologist. Mm. Ugh. Speaking of full of baloney, let's bring out our first guest, strongman duo and local morning show legends, Chop and Steel. Hi. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Uh, first things first, Chop, Steel. That's right. Now, is that your Christian name? Yes. Well, well Joe Choppington. Yeah, and my name's Nick Stelling, so Chop and Steel. What do you love most about each other? I like how easy he is to, that he'll do whatever I want him to do. Uh, I agree with that, and I also like certain exercises we do. His beard tickles me, and it kind of makes me laugh. How many morning shows have you been on? We were on three, three. morning shows. We yeah. got accepted onto seven, and then four of them canceled. All right, so you made it onto three. All of these are in Wisconsin? Two of them in Wisconsin, one in Pennsylvania. Now, when you're on these morning shows, how quickly in do they realize, oh, this is not what we thought it was going to be? This is just basic turbo gravy that you would have in your house. There you go. Uh, this way after... And I can do double duty with this one. There you go. Yeah. Go up high. Yep. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, sorry. To our understanding, they still don't know. They think they uh, got a great segment. Have any of the anchors ever gotten mad at you guys? Like, hey, you're wasting our time? We've gotten some angry emails afterwards. Well, here's the thing. In, we would send them press releases. And we told them that we could crush cinder blocks. Uh -huh. It just so happened that we left the cinder blocks back of the hotel, so we weren't able to do that. So they were a little bit upset at that. But we still made do with what we had. Well, I think what we promised them was an entertaining segment, and we think that's what we delivered. I'll admit, we do some non-traditional type of lifting and, and pushing and maneuvering. And so a lot of them are thrown off by it. Guys, let's just pause for a second, take a look at traffic. Sponsored by phones. Don't use our traffic report, use your phone. The roundabouts on Hagara are flowing fine, but still annoying. What's your favorite muscle group? I think right now it's the fleeps. Are you against <laughs> traditional gyms? Absolutely. Absolutely. We think you can do any sort of fitness training with just stuff you have lying around your house. You can do it with sticks in your backyard. We owe most of what we can do to the guy upstairs. The Lord above. And uh, we do take a lot of creatine, too, which helps. What's your BMI looking like these days? 
I don't know what that means. Body <laughs> mass index? That's just me. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I've heard of that. And that, yeah. so that's something that people have? Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's supposed to be around, is five a good number? If, if a high number is good, then that's what we've got. If a low number is good, that's what we've got. Let's take a moment to check on the weather with meteorologist Thunder Cummings. I guess he's not there. Whatever. Use your phone, guys. There's a 15-day forecast on there. Let's talk about this lawsuit. Who is suing Chop and Steel? There's a company we didn't know existed called Gray Television. Uh huh. They own about 90 uh, small stations. Um, they probably own yours. Yeah. We own by Gray? That's a negative. Go ahead. And they own one of the stations we were on in Wisconsin. Uh -huh. And uh, I guess our uh, feats of strength were too radical for what they were expecting. One, two, okay. three. Okay, so the parent company's mad, and what? And they sue you for what? Copyright infringement, fraud, and conspiracy. Conspiracy is the, the cool one. What's the worst that can happen to you with this lawsuit? I think we could go bankrupt. I mean, basically... I think they take the Zubas right off, of our, right off of our legs. But you can't go to jail, right? No. Okay. Although that'd be pretty funny. Is your lawyer Jewish? I don't think so. That's not good. His name's Anderson Duff. You may have... You're familiar with the pizza bagels case? No. The... No? Oh. A uh, pizza bagel case was um, a woman burned her uh, roof of her mouth on okay, her face. Okay, yeah, yeah. And so I, the song for it, you can have pizza... Uh, pizza in the morning, pizza, pizza in the, the evening, pizza, pizza at supper time. time. When pizza's, pizza's on, on a bagel, bagel you can, can have pizza at any time. So he sued them for making too hot of bagels. You, you're in charge of the, the temperature of the bagel. That's why he didn't win the lawsuit, ah. but it did pave the way for a lot of future hot food-based lawsuits. It put him on the map. But you have a GoFundMe page. Yeah. I mean, there's so many people need to donate right now to all these different hurricane relief funds and chop and steal. I don't know what the breakdown should be. Well, I don't think there is a more important case going on than ours. It's a, it's a First Amendment case. In a way, our case is a hurricane, too. It's your personal 9-11. No exaggeration. I'm told you put together a series of workouts using ordinary household items that will silence the fake morning news and prove you're legit. Damn right. Absolutely. Let's, Let's do get it. started. Now, if you're trying this at home, make sure you unplug the fridge first. Yeah, you want to take out all of the contents. I did this before I had a jar of capers spill all over, so. What we've done is we've put about six hangers together. That's an advanced move. You want to do three to start off with. Okay. And on three, we're going to bend these. Ready? Here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> Try using those. Well, you, you can bend them back. That's true. All right, let's do it. You've seen strongman lift tractor tires. We don't have those. You'll see how to do it. You can do it at home. Wouldn't mind watching Monica bend over and give it a try. What? Here we go. There's no such thing as verbal harassment. You can't grab a woman's ass with words. Well, what are you doing here? These are lollies. Yes. Children love them. Right, but we're gonna help you break that candy addiction. You heard of Candy Crush, this is the real thing. Okay. Ready? We're gonna crush addiction. Say, Say no, no to candy. candy. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> so far, I'm a believer. Thanks, you know, we call this piano resistance. All you need is a piano and some rope and... Yeah, and a pair of scissors. <laughs> Chop and steel are either gonna be totally redeemed or I'm gonna have to hire some fresh meat. I mean, new co-anchor. One. Two, three. This just in. We go live now to a rogue shopping cart rolling down Sepulveda. <laughs> the LAPD ended up shooting that shopping cart. Plus, spike strips don't work on those wheels. 